Over the course of the last year, I produced over 200 videos for YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok. Here's what I learned. So as you know, if you follow me over on Instagram, over this past year, I've been fortunate enough to be working full time as a video producer. It's been an amazing opportunity to create tons of content, grow my creative skills, and really stretch my creative muscles. So first takeaway after doing this for a year actually has nothing to do with filmmaking or content creation itself. It actually has everything to do with organization. Now, I know that sounds super unglamorous and you probably wanna click away, but don't because hear me out for a second. You can have the best camera, the best lenses, the best editing rig in the world, but if your file organization is a mess, your project, whatever it is that you're working on is completely sunk before you even get started. What do I mean? So let's say you've just shot yourself a big project. You've got a three camera setup with three different SD cards at three different angles. You're recording audio externally. That's two more SD cards, five if you're keeping track at home. And you import all that footage straight into Premiere, ready to start editing, right? So you're super excited. You jump right into it and you put together a rough cut of the edit. Along the way, you download some stock footage to use as B-roll, some music to really make the whole thing pop, and all of that kind of gets sorted into different places. Some go to your desktop, some go to your downloads folder, some go right into your maybe main hard drive. Point being, everything is all over the place. But you don't care because you're in creative overdrive and this project is gonna be awesome. You hit save, you close down Premiere, and you take a break. You go outside, you get some fresh air, you get a bag of Cheetos. But then the unthinkable happens. You accidentally eject one of your SD cards, or hey, maybe one of those files on your desktop, you forgot what it was, you hit delete. And then when you jump back into your project, you're gonna get one of these messages that says that your media is offline or your media is missing and your whole timeline looks like a Jackson Pollock because your project bin was unorganized. Having a constant and easy to understand file structure on a separate drive that you're always working off of is key. Next takeaway, Murphy's Law is real, always be prepared for it. So this is the story of how a single USB dongle halted an entire production. So back in the spring, I was producing an offsite live stream. I knew about it in advance, so I prepared for everything. At least I thought I did. Make sure all the camera batteries are charged, check. Make sure the lighting and mics are all packed away, check, check. Check MacBook charger, capture card, and dongle so that everything is ready to go. Check, check, and check. Do a dry run the day before, check. And you see, that was my fatal flaw because while I had backups for everything, I didn't have a backup for my USB dongle. Duplicate batteries, extra XLR cables, even an extra set of mics. But why would I get an extra USB dongle? I've had this one forever and it's never failed me before. Suffice to say, I get to the shoot, I set everything up and pfft, nothing. For some reason, the universe decided to take that day, that opportunity to teach me a lesson about always being prepared for an issue even if it's never happened before. Always have a backup plan when it comes to gear. My last takeaway is that there's always more to learn. Now, don't click away. I promise this isn't a TED talk about grind and hustle and all that kind of stuff. No, all I'm saying is that the creative fields have a great benefit of always evolving. The video I put up last week is actually a perfect example of this. Just two years ago, Photoshop had half the features it does right now. If you wanted to do a composite image with sky replacement and changing seasons, it would take quite a long time and quite a lot of in-depth knowledge of the software. Now it's just a couple clicks. Keeping your mind open to learn how to do things you may already know how to do faster and more efficiently is absolutely essential and a lifesaver when it comes to getting things out at a quicker pace. So there you go, three lessons about producing video that I've picked up over the course of the last year. I had a great time making this. I actually think I'm gonna update this video every single year, but let me know down below in the comments, what are some things maybe you learned about video in the last year, or if any of these tips were helpful. Either way, take care of yourselves. We'll talk again real soon.